All right, guys, here we are to talk about the movie Tremors 5. What up? So have you seen the first four Tremors? Okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I've seen Tremors, uh, you know, Tremors 1, definitely. Uh -huh. Love that movie. Sure. One of my, probably one of my favorites of that, like, type or era or whatever. Okay. Really big fan of Tremors. I love people on roofs, like, scuttling around. You got the Kevin Bacon. Why are you just starved to death up there? What's going on? The way it whole, you know, unfolds uh -huh. or whatever. It's great. I'm sure I've seen Tremors 2, because I remember Burt Ward Tremors 2 back. is just Burt, that, yeah. uh, Burt Ward, and it's... Oh, no, no, Fred Ward, all right. Fred Ward? Wait. The guy, fuck. <sighs> Not Gummer. Right. Burt uh, Gummer is the character's name. Yes. I think Fred Ward might be the name of the guy who's not Kevin Bacon that yes, was in the pickup yes. truck. I'm so, so bad with their names. Right. But yes, so, he returns. He's in Mexico. Yeah. And this is the first time they fight the next evolution. The little dudes. Yeah. Uh, and I forgot what they're called. Oh, I knew. Shriekers. Shriekers. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the Shriekers fight. Yeah. The third one. So I think that is where the you know the series and I parted ways. I'm not okay. sure because I don't know anything about Ass Blasters. Third one is Ass yeah. Blasters. Okay. Fourth one is a prequel. Oh. It is the first uh, Tremors, and it has Bert and a couple other characters playing their like great 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 grandfathers. God damn. And I actually enjoyed that one. Was it good? Quite a bit. It's 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 hokey and jokey okay. and whatever. But you're back to fighting just the original. Um, oh, Raboids. That's cool. And it's it's in like you know the old west. Yeah. And now we are in the fifth. It it is uh well actually between between the fourth and the fifth there was also the uh, the TV show that was on Sci Fi okay. that also had Burt Gummer. So I looked up Burt because every time we do this I I forget that he's a Family Ties. Yeah, guy. Family Ties. He looks so different as Burt. Alex B. Keaton Biatch. Yeah. Well, he has no hair in, yeah, in yeah. this, and he had hair. Then. And well, and he dyes the mustache. He has a big dyed mustache, uh -huh. right? So he looks very different to me. So I you know like once you you know w once I am reminded of his of his identity I can't not see that anymore and it's and it's wonderful. Uh -huh. But yeah, on his IMDb page because I because in my head I'm like who you know who does play Burt? Burt has Burt been in all of these? Oh my God, this, a lot. This guy. His whole career was just playing Burt, I think. And then I scroll through, and I'm like, oh, yeah. He's, he's like, okay, fine, fine. So he was TV, and then he went and did. So he's yeah. been just slopping up all, all, all the roles he can get, all, all the appearances I of I think he has a lot of Bert. fun with this character, I'm too. sure he does. Oh, my God. It looks like he's having a ton of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I think it's, it's rare <clears throat> for a man that, like, goes from being a family TV star to be like, I'm going to play with guns? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. I'm the guy who loves. I'm an action star now? Yeah. I'm the guy who loves guns. Yeah. Guns are my favorite thing. Yeah, I, I enjoy his character. I think he's funny. I, I like how he draws. I'm like, like, do not inspect my cranium or whatever he says. Yeah, I thought yeah. was a, a great line. No, he, he so like he is the best part of all this. Yes, he's. I still like him. Uh, him and Reba McIntyre. Reba. Reba was in the first. McIntyre. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I, I thought I had her last name wrong. Them shooting at the thing, and then it's like the practical effect coming through the wall and the yeah. miniatures and all the different stuff they do in that. Like that stuff's great. That, yeah, the thing. first one done very well. I know I have to shoot through dirt and all that stuff. This gun is useless. Like all that, all that stuff. Like the first one's just a gem. Just a bunch of people on rocks driving the big uh, caterpillar around. Uh -huh. Like that's wonderful. That's amazing. <clears throat> But here we are at, 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 at number five. At stage five, we got Jamie Kennedy joining the crew. Uh, and I like Jamie Kennedy on, on paper. In things that are in not a, this? In a lot of things, I like him. Um, as he's getting older, uh, he's not as like funny and quippy. I think the last things I really enjoyed him with, he had a thing with him and Stu Stone where they were trying to be rappers. Son of the Mask. No. Uh, <laughs> was, he even, was he even in there or is that somebody else? Son of the Mask was him. Okay. Yes. Uh, as Stanley Ipkiss. But... Uh, I like Scream, I thought he was really good in. Scream uh, 1 and 2. He's in Scream? Yeah. So there are rules to surviving a horror movie. Oh, he's that guy. All right. And then he's in the second one like, I, if you're seeing this tape, I died. <laughs> I Here have, are the rules for a sequel. <laughs> I have not seen mu Jamie Kennedy much, except right. for those things that I didn't even know was him. And my impression of him is he is trash. Because I've only seen He's in a lot of B things. B comedies, though, right? B so it's comedies. Like, oof. Uh, he was in one recently I watched. It was like The Sand or The Beach or whatever, where, the, where the, the, the actual sand has some sort of like organism in it that's like like eating people. Yeah. And after a drunken party, all these people are like, like you know, just above the sand. Like some are sitting in a convertible. Some are in like a guard tower for the lifeguards. Uh -huh. And like he plays a cop. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and I, like it, you know, he's a B guy. Like he dropped I, a couple funny lines, but over, yeah. generally he's over the top. And like I just it's like uh, a ham part. I remember Son of the Mask, and then whatever the one is where he's B rad. Oh, and, that's uh, and the funniest thing that about one, that now that one has some that, funny uh, moments. That's um, Malibu's most name. wanted. Yeah, 
So I don't know if I ever even watched that maybe in the video store, but I I just remember walking away from it, and again, this could be totally unfair, thinking, well, the funniest thing about that is that he called himself B-Rad instead of Brad or whatever. That's, uh -huh. like, amazing. But um, anyway, so I was like, Jamie Kennedy, question mark, question mark, motorcycle montage. He's the new cameraman. Like, that was my, yeah, like, that's I, my I have a pet peeve that. about anything when, like, when someone puts on a helmet and then someone who's obviously not them does something. Yes. Because, like, oh, it didn't look like him at all. That was what happened to me. I was like, is was that Jamie Kennedy? I have to wait for this stuntman to take his helmet off in this other shot to figure out if that was Jamie Kennedy. Yeah. And it was. That was crazy. Yeah, that was. <clears throat> and that played a part later when he gets back on his bike and does some fancy so stuff. So many things were, 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 were called in response to. I, I Okay. I think this is a bad movie. I don't know if you enjoyed this movie. How do you feel about this movie? Um, <coughs> I enjoyed it from almost a nostalgia and like bring yeah. back the characters moment. <clears throat> um, but it wasn't super good. But it wasn't. It wasn't the worst. I'm, I'm a, sure I'm a much bigger worst. fan of sci-fi originals things, right? than you. Yes, I know. And this fe this felt fine in that kind yeah. of uh, environment. I liked seeing the new version of. Uh, of the Tremors, like the African yeah. version. Yeah. I, I always think it's weird when I'm like, I'm like, and why didn't we see them ever before? Like, no, I know. They, like, it wasn't like somebody was, was bombing and like it, it disturbed so, them. They just, they just like happened to walk upon them and see them. And like Tremors, <clears throat> like now that you see, and we'll talk about something else in a second too, like now that you see the whole life cycle of the Tremors, yeah. <clears throat> the Tremors make no sense or whatever. Like after, I don't, well, maybe the movies have let the, you know let it unfold in real what, time. What do you or mean? Don't like make that. sense. Like, like the fact that there were ever tremors means that there were always also shriekers and ass blasters. So it isn't like you ever would have only fought tremors, except in in the first movie when they woke them up and they were just tremors yes. first, right? Yes. So well, then you. That's have... why I said like I so I I think the movies followed the life cycle in order as uh -huh. if this was if you know happening in like real time. Well, right? then they had a thing where they killed off <clears throat> uh, the second stage and they were still fighting a graboid because they were fighting a uh, yeah. a white graboid because it was a um, it was an albino and like they make they make some reference like I think the Indian guy on the thing is like he's like we once had an albino an albino mule or horse or something he's like it was sterile and like and like and like, oh. like we're under the and the impression that this might be sterile and it never went to stage two so like they still was that had in uh, the prequel or which one was that in I think that was in part three <clears throat> okay <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken which I could be I don't remember yeah. But uh, it, it is like a large so also, like, white whale. It's like cicadas or whatever, right? It's like they're all on like a different schedule, maybe. Yeah. But there's certain like whatever, like sure. I, I'm not saying that that you should always only have one of those three things or all of them all the time. No, no, like, I get what you're I saying. I can see that it's emotions or whatever. But the idea, like, so like. What I like about this, Bert, 100%. Uh -huh. I love the fake reality show, Bert, all that stuff, mm -hmm. great. The whole life cycle stuff, the sci-fi stuff, seeing through its infrared vision stuff, the whole, like, it's trying to protect its eggs. Like, all that stuff's great or whatever. I just think, like, as a movie, this was not good. Like, there's a lot of editing and acting and, like, writing choices that I just thought were, like... Yeah. And, like, this is a thing where, <clears throat> as a kid, I would have picked out those cool parts, left them in my brain, never watched the movie again, and been like, that was cool, and just, like, forgotten about it. Sure. Right? But as an adult, I'm just like, I can't spend this long while, you know, doing this. This is a waste of time. This had the most B elements of the five. Really? I be if, okay. if, if, you know, I have a pretty decent memory for yeah, these kind yeah. of things, and there were more moments where I was like, hmm, like, that felt cheaper. Than, than other things. Like literal shortcuts and like yeah. weird choices. And I, I honestly feel like there's stuff that they could have like fixed without even needing money or like talents uh -huh. or whatever. It was very, very strange to me. I liked evolution being different on this path of the graboids. Like, yeah. like oh, they look slightly different. They're faster. They're skinnier. They're longer. The the mouth tenderly things can come out. I know. It's just um, so weird. I thought that was interesting. I don't know how that would no. work, but I liked it. <laughs> no, but that's what you want to do. That's, like, good. On the IMDb page, it says there's something where, like, they're in the Arctic or something like that, That's number six. That's six. Oh, God. Yeah. We already have a six. So, yeah. so like, Six just came <clears throat> out a few months ago, actually. Oh, okay. So we're doing a timely tent pole thing. Yeah. Here. No, I like uh, that's what you'd want to do with tremors. You'd want to find different locations and like, mm -hmm. well, on, on Australia they were isolated, so that's why they're different here. Like, you can just keep doing that if you want, right? And and that's yeah. cool. That's fine. I don't, I have no problem with any of that part or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was it wasn't the worst, and I enjoyed like for what it is. Again, it's just a vehicle to let me see this character more, and yeah. and that's fine. That's kind of like how I would like a show to go on after it stops being good, just because I want more of that character. You just want more time with Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I feel that. That, that, that applies actually Literally. perfectly. Where I'm I like, that last season was garbage, but I, I, I wanted a little more, and I exactly. got a little more. I got, what I, I got what I wanted. It was watered down. It wasn't as long as the other seasons, but I'm okay with it. I know. Uh, and this is kind of that. Yeah. Uh, the sixth one looks a little better than, than this one. Oh, yeah? The, uh, then <clears> there's, uh, there's supposed to be a Kevin Bacon one coming out again, mm. and uh, I don't know if War yeah, is returning, that. but that <clears> one's <throat> still on IMDb as, as like a made-for-TV movie. I think it's going to be right, right to Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, I think number six says video next to it or whatever. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So the next one after that would still be... But Ke- like I, I had thought, and I don't know if this movie is, a, is like the pilot four, but when I heard Kevin Bacon talking, it seemed like he was bringing back a TV series that he want, like there was like, <clears> a lot of money involved into it and that he wanted to be a part of again. And I was like, oh, that sounds very good. I think a TV series might um, you know, serve this, uh, this material better, honestly. The TV sh- did you watch the TV show? I didn't even know that it existed until uh, the other night. So the TV show was like you know they live there and the government's trying to like take take down like they take their land. Was like, it imperfection or was it was it... imperfection? Oh great great! And like only a cool. few of them like are allowed to live there. They have their <clears> whatevers. <throat> and there's there was something uh, like some sort of chemical got like it was like spilled or something. And there's other types of creatures and things happening and like they're trying oh, to stop okay. them and kill them and do this and that. Uh, right. there, there, there was fun things. There's stuff you could do with that because the concept here is great, right? Well, and even so, in the first movie, that town of perfect, like, like this, like crazy, impossibly small town, right? That's what yeah. it's centered on. It felt so different and alien to like everything else, right? And everything uh-huh. gets some iconic pogo stick stuff happening. Um, but you could do a lot with like this is like a prehistoric missing uh, thing that was like I uh, like 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 awoken and you could learn more things about it as they've been doing right. I uh-huh. think of all of all of the crappy things, Tremors is probably super high up the list, right? Sure. Because like you've really like, <clears throat> and 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 they use the fake reality show, the survivalist show, to like show you gra- you know animatics of like the life cycle and all that yeah. stuff, which is a great trick, which is awesome for them to do that. So like that's why certain stuff was so awesome. I thought that certain other other things, I'm like, damn guys, don't don't send you know like the guys who are doing the good stuff home when you're doing like scenes of yeah. the movie. But um, I would have liked them to lean more into that, like fake reality show stuff. That stuff was awesome. But like. Mm-hmm. When, like for them to get so detailed into the life cycle and to have this make sense, mm-hmm. to have the creatures, um, like they were prehistoric creatures that were like woken up in like now or something like that, and then like earlier in like the canon, they uh, attack engines because they're hot or they mistake this yeah. for that or like the, the you know this confuses them. But then the ones that survive should like learn and get better and like learn more about. Um, life and all Nothing that Nothing ever right? really survives, though, in quotes. Yeah, I know. So uh, there's right. not much to be learned. Um, yeah. I love Tremors 3, I believe it was, starts <laughs> off with Bert doing another one of those, like, like he's talking to the news, and like they're okay. filming him at night, and like it's like a bunch of Shriekers. He goes, all right, the Shriekers are going to come over this hill. And like, they have like the, the night vision goggles, and you can see the heat of the of the Shriekers. Yeah. And there's just like a wall of them, like hundreds of them, like you're in Starship <clears throat> Troopers. Okay. And he's just like, all right, and he like, pulls a thing off, and he's like in the back of his truck, and there's like this mounted gun. It's like, yeah. All right, and that is how we take care of an infestation. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, th- that's he's, okay. He's a fun character. Everything about that's okay. Him in the cage uh, and all that stuff was was uh, was like that's the kind of bad fun whatever that I'm totally fine with. That's uh-huh. awesome, right? Yeah, that's wonderful. No, that was fine. The, Him freaking out the lion's piss. Yeah, the lion pissing directly, you know, you know, into his mouth <laughs> and all that stuff. And then Jamie Kennedy dragging the cage. That felt like like like, like Ernest movie like quality. Yeah, a little bit. I was like, yes, this is this is the kind of schlock, whatever, you know, whosever words we, we want to borrow, you know, dumb stuff, schlock, fun, bad, whatever, but good uh-huh. stuff. Other stuff though, and like I, you know, we're not going to talk too in depth. I think about the plot of the movie, unless you have stuff you want to bring up. Um, do I have any things that I want to bring up? Not really. Um, so I thought that the, uh, just to get this out of the way, so I thought that the end of the movie was indicative of, like, the problems with the movie to me. Or where whatever. it was just like a, a salt, like, okay, and it's over. <laughs> like, we're going to so, shock the ground. We know lightning <coughs> storms happen. This is, this is okay. back to the future. So, like, okay, that was very, um, was very, uh, sci-fi movie originals type yes. stuff to me. Where they're all shooting it with, like, shotguns and bows and arrows, but then it explodes for no reason or whatever. Like, but I can live with that. That's fine. I mean, the very, like, right before the epilogue. Okay. Where he's like, um... You know, hey, uh, you know, hey, so uh, you, you know, you take care or whatever. Yeah. And then they go, ah, okay, uh, what happened to building the Gummer brand, right? Like the, like, emotionally yes, distant yes. father thing. That's good, right? And then he says, you don't need fixing, Pop. 
and then walks off camera, right? Then they dub in an extra line. Someone went in and said, the movie's not funny enough. This doesn't make sense. The audience is stupid or this is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. They dub in the line. Come on, we got to catch a gremlin in Fresno, right? Yeah. While they're hanging on Bert, which should just be this silent moment, and then him saying, pops or whatever, right? It's sh like, like, like the scene should have been, you don't need fixing pops, and him being like, Ugh, pops, and then ending, right? That's, oh, we have this rapport now. It's like, yeah, in, yeah. it's like Indiana Jones and his dad and all that stuff. Oh, it's great. But they had to dub in Gremlin in Fresno, right? Which, A, like, like you shoved it in later off camera. It sounds like, now we have to get a Gremlin in Fresno. Like, it doesn't even sound uh -huh. right from like a technical perspective. Also, Gremlins in Fresno was just you trying to gas more money out of that uh, South African dude. You're not yeah. really going to go to Fresno to well, get I, Gremlins. Well, I didn't take it as a, right? as a serious thing. I took it as a joke. I know. Yeah. No, no, it, 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 it is a like joke or whatever, but like that that choice of that scene, to, you know, to not let it be what I assume it was like originally filmed and like you know written as or uh -huh. whatever, to be like we gotta spice this stuff up, we gotta make all this, oh, we gotta have more stuff happen here or whatever. I think was like what like ruined parts of it for me that like yeah. uh, that that mentality. Even him being his dad, I was like, Ugh, it's such a like. So, of course. Back to my uh, notes from like three pages ago of like, um, you know, hey, Jamie Kennedy is the new cameraman. My next note is he calls him Pops and then, oh, well, I guess he's going to be his dad, Florida 74, right? Like, yeah. It, and, mm. and, and again, maybe this movie's made for children or like people with learning disabilities. But like to have him call him Pops right next to the line in the establishment, like you have to space that out. You have to make something, it right? Did, it did felt, it felt, ugh. Because they had all these opportunities to have all that dialogue. They're on a helicopter. They're on the other thing together. They're, How'd you like that guy in the helicopter? Whatever. Helicopter Man is my new uh, hero. He was, uh, he was pretty good. The uh, poor man's John Voight. Not since the great Ed X Young have I had a character. <laughs> no, he was wonderful, actually. Like, that's, again, like, there's certain stuff in here that I think is, like, good, bad. And then there's stuff that I think is, like, bad, yep. bad. Which makes me, like, sad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I think it was a level of like tropes that were just shoved into this one. We're like, yeah. and the guy that hires you is a bad guy. Ha ha! <clears throat> like, well, and like, so uh, even that could be okay. Cause you gotta do a Jurassic Parky thing where we're gonna collect the eggs and take yeah, them off the yeah. island. Well, I have a whole section about things that they ripped off literally from other movies, uh -huh. which could so like uh, this got dangerously close to like this is a lovingly self-aware schlocky fun movie, uh -huh. but I thought like technically it fell short in enough places that it like let me down on that. Yeah, front, yeah. Right. So we had first of all, never touch me. Second of all, never touch me. Uh -huh. Right. Which they just used in Pacific Rim a few years ago, but is an old thing that people oh, yeah. do, and like. Bert delivering that, I just, it felt, I'm like, what are you doing, or whatever. There's a kitchen scene where they show its feet and, like, the reflection of the stuff literally trying to evoke Jurassic yes. Park while you have CG in 2018 that doesn't look as good as Jurassic Park CD from th from 30 years ago, yeah. and you're going to invoke Jurassic Park on me with the kids hiding And there are the thing, homages, and, and, like, you know, you can say, oh, I was That's doing I mean. this for that. It wasn't yeah. me ripping it off. Uh, yeah. But I don't. If you don't do things well, or or like no, but you can. You just have to shove in more stuff, and you can. To hey, feel free. You can totally have that, right? Like and if you, he would have took the spoon, <clears throat> ta -ta 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 -ta. you know, like like take it further then, right? Without doing copyright infringement. Yeah. I, either have more references, or like extend that reference, or have a have a character comment on it, or something like that. Uh, not literally in that case, but so uh, he he says, uh, "Come to Africa, have a few laughs, see a few things," and I'm yeah. like, "What? What are, is is this a YouTube channel? What are we watching here?" I run the line though, where like those are things that like we do with our friends in yeah. the world too. So I'm like, "Is it is it weird seeing it in a movie because a person does this in real yeah. life? So why am I saying it's weird when I see someone do it in a movie?" But I do have yes. a feeling that like it makes me go like, mm -hmm. "Do you mean the people who made the movie or or the characters well, in both. the movie?" Well, both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Because you're writing something from a standpoint of a character. All right, well, what would I say here? That. Yeah. And then that character's saying that, and you're like, well, that, I think it was a little bit better when, uh, when, when Bruce did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like, so, like, that's the whole thing is you have to establish not literally for me, but, like, uh -huh. what exists in your universe, right? A lot of movies, a lot of comedies have, like, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday for the rest yeah. of your life, right? Because that's, like a, like, a dumb thing to reference and have a funny sure. thing in your movie or whatever, right? Um, but some of the stuff doesn't feel the, the, the last one. He says, you are one ugly bitch, 
right? So yeah. a monster that sees in heat vision. We have the hero before he, something blows up. He says, "You're one ugly." Instead of mf'er, he says, "Bitch" or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, "Okay, great," or something like that. And I'm not saying that they're like guilty of ripping these things off. I'm just saying it's like taking it even further to like rub me the wrong way. Where it's like uh-huh. a third of your movie, like like your premise is like pretty great. A third of your movie is like like well executed. I you know I think you have a bunch of funny stuff and a bunch of interesting things, and then you're like the rest of it's like weird off camera deaths in in like the middle of broad daylight for no reason. Like why put that in there? Like weird. Um... When that couple died behind like the curtain or whatever, yeah. and I'm like, you had a curtain you could have splashed blood on. You had you like you have full control over like when you film this scene. The thing is supposed to be nocturnal at at that point still. Yeah. So why would you have it be in like full sunlight and then choose to show them from like the shoulders up only because you don't have the money to show the scene? Why do uh, that? Like th- things like that bother me a lot. The uh, the African hunter guy. The, yeah. That is the opening scene. I'm the mean guy. Yeah. He just seemed like his his character changed how he would act in situations yes. scene by scene. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And I was a little happy when he died from a thing landing on him. Yeah, he was just like, you can't kill me. This is Africa. And then just like, bites yeah. on him and dies. No, I know. Yeah. 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 Um, ultimately, I walked away with like a mediocre vibe. I was like, I was, yeah, like, I was, yeah, say, I was like a five out of ten. Okay, good, good, good. So, so, so I'm not like being the one who's too picky or something. Like, this well, like, is like not a great. If there right? were no other Tremors yeah. movies, I, I'm not even sure if I would be mm-hmm. higher or lower. Oh, uh, interesting. Because yeah. having that, there, you know, there are other ones that I think are much better. Like, like Tremors one is like is, is a high score for me. Yeah. Uh, even honestly, two and three are are decent. Uh, no, like, I think yeah. I like three more than I like two. Mm, I haven't and seen three. four, I, I think, is just a funny movie. It's like a comedy. Yeah. There's a, like, there's a portion of the thing where he's like, uh, he's like a rich man coming to this poor town, and it's like, you know, like, oh, da, 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 in my suit. And he's like, he's like, I would like a blah, blah. He's like, we don't have the ingredients to make that. He's like, well, what do you have? All right, make me a cake. <laughs> and he's like, they're like, it's like the last of their supplies. They make this rich man who's going to try to save the town. Uh, he's, he's putting up money okay. to hire gunslingers to kill this graboid thing, and they make him a cake. And uh, the, like this young little boy is like, he's like, boy, fetch my blah, blah, and I'll give you this last piece of ginger cake. And the boy comes back, and like, like just before he comes back, he eats the piece of cake. And he's like, he's like you saw that? Like, That's a life lesson. <laughs> I was like, and like, I laughed, because like, yeah. you fucked this little boy. And it makes me, I also feel really bad, though, because I'm like, you got to think, living in like the Wild West, <laughs> a piece of cake, how often did you ever have a piece of cake? No, and he was going to have one, and he's like, oh, that's extremely cruel. You get nothing. Yes. You get nothing. Give me the thing I told you to get me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, and like, and like, that's that's one of the ways to save this type of stuff, right? I don't nitpick with things like that if the movie's funny enough, or yes. if it's uh, whatever. And some of that burnt stuff's good enough that I'm not going to be like, why is a 60 year old man the guy? And like, I don't, I don't care about. It. Like, no, that's I believe all that's yeah, totally. He's fine, the right? only one who's ever hunted yeah. these things. Yeah, exactly. No, it's like, I have zero problems yeah. like uh, that. I I would consider super nitpicks. I just wish this was more technically well done or something. Because then it could yeah. be like, oh, man, Tremors, it's dumb, but it's knocking it out of the park, right? Sure. Because there's certain movies or certain things like that where you can like them, but you have to qualify it like, hey, man, it's awful. This, you know, like Resident Evil or, or, or one of those bad movies, I'd be like, do you like bad movies? You're going to love this. This, I might be like, I don't know if you need to watch this. Do you want to see Burt more? You can see some Burt. It's it fine. was cool to see a Tremor, yeah. though, that like could burrow through rock yeah. and like it's, it's an upgrade. I like that. There are, there are legs for that. I, I think that... Uh, yeah. It was like a little rushed and cheaply made, though, and that was its downfall. For, I like, think you had, I don't think it had a, a to be, premise though. here that yeah. could have been really good. I don't know how long they had to film this or how many people they had or like you know what the actual budget yeah. was, but certain things I was like, well, that cost money, like, and you had that. Well, no, but like, yeah, well, so exactly. They were like saving their CG for these parts at the end with like more motorcycle stunts and like everything. Yeah. And they're just like, I don't know if that was the right decision or something like that. Nah. Like at the end of the day, you're making a movie. It is what it is. It's like good or it's bad. It's money or it's talent uh-huh. or it's time or whatever it is. <clears throat> but that's why we're here to be like, yeah, listen, this is not, it's not like, oh man, this might be, this might be better than Tremors one. It's like, no, it's not. It's not better than no, Tremors one. No. It's, it's, it's another sci-fi ish entry, right? Into sure. the, into the series. Hmm. Any we'll see case. how Tremors 6 does. Yeah. All right, guys. So, like, that was our thoughts on Tremors 5. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire. And we'll see you next time with potentially Tremors 6. Hello, Internet. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, 
click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies.